A grand greetings to the family. Put some good Palo energy in there. Let's roll the dice and see who's getting this July reading. I, I've already done. Um, well, no, I haven't. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you. Is something you need to get in writing, some kind of proof, something that needs to be time stamped, some kind of reminder. I also have here slow down, like either your mind, your speech, maybe travel. Guilt eats someone up, up. This came out in Gemini's reading as well. Um, and also go within and do some self-care, some inner work. Just kind of love on yourself is coming out for real ash. And at the bottom of the deck, communication will help. Conversation, journaling, meditation, some kind of dialogue that you either need to have with yourself or someone else. And also, they're sorry. There's someone that's feeling apologetic here. Imagine that. Let's get one more. When jokes tell themselves, any fool can make a rule and any fool will mind it. There was some kind of foolishness that someone is feeling remorseful about. So um, this is happening in July. So let's see what's going on here for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus with the tarot. And I will be um, shuffling the dice again to see what zodiac signs you can expect to be making an appearance in your July Cancer. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave what does not fit for you. If you need to, um, you know, skip this and get to the nitty degree, do so. But, um... I have the Nine of Pentacles coming out. So you may be single, independent, and self-sufficient in July. Not really needing anyone. Not really worried about anyone but yourself for the most part. Or maybe like, you know, a loved one that is close to you. But what I do see, did anything else flip over? Is this, Yeah, that flipped over and came out. You're going to be, you know, stable. Your hard work is going to be paid off or paying off in July. This is something that no one can take from you. The bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, you're definitely getting some kind of recognition. You're moving forward in the right you know, ways that will show that you are claiming victory and that people are going to be giving you your flowers and showing you some kind of praise and showing you that you're worthy your confidence will be up four of swords here some kind of irritation you may be getting over three of wands being careful making sure that your next move is your best move as you continue to you know accomplish some achievements that you need to kind of check off the vision board or you know whatever it is that you want to see being done i see some kind of ship coming in you might have been waiting on something and it's finally starting to make some kind of appearance maybe with love or some people that you might want to work with or used to the ideal type of work maybe but there's some kind of new connection or some kind of new love that you're showing yourself that's really leading to you kind of being able to be a good team player and put your best self out there, best foot forward. As you can see, red is here. So definitely a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of excitement that you can be looking forward to. We have the emperor here. This is Aries energy. The north node is moving into Aries. Imagine that. But I feel like you're either bossed up or you're dealing with some kind of boss-like figure here. And so it's a divine masculine energy whenever you see the emperor. But um, I definitely see you stepping up to a more secure you know, position in life where you are coming out on top. You're very 
divinely protected. You're over the mind games. You're positive. You've been optimistic and hopeful about whatever this is. I feel like there's some kind of major wish fulfillment that you're getting here where you're going to be content. There's some kind of healing that you've done where the worst is now over and you've detached from some kind of codependent, maybe bad habits, anything that you really didn't want to be you know, involved in that brings any kind of dissatisfaction. I see you being able to really move forward as a leader and, you know, your ambition, you're going to be able to maybe receive some kind of new job or new role, some kind of new position where you're able to walk away from a scarcity mindset and you're going to have a huge wake up call and raise of consciousness where you're receiving something here is what I feel like is going to happen because of this and the nine of pentacles. So let's get some clarity here for you in July, Cancer. I really want to know kind of like what this guilt is that's eating someone up that they're so sorry about in July when jokes tell themselves. I told you more about you, but I kind of want to know more about this real ash that's on the table here instead of just the ones that are standing up saying, you know, what you need to do as far as your inner work and getting things in writing. I feel like there's some kind of offer or something that um, you may be needing to release here with um, this guilt is eating someone up. I feel like somebody's miserable about something that they've tried to hold on to. Three of Wands, this person is planning on trying to make some kind of appearance. Like they're waiting on the best approach, some kind of preparation or planning that they're doing. I uh, don't really know. But uh, we have Capricorn energy here with the devil. It's something that was very toxic that is needing to be released. I feel like this is somebody that has some kind of codependency that they had where they were, you know, tied down to something very dark. They might have been dealing with dark magic, dark people, a dark addiction, but... Um, there was some kind of hostility here, some kind of words that were passed that were aggressively unnecessary. Maybe someone didn't tell the whole truth about something and now they want to come forward and tell you that they've detached from something that was very, you know, I hate to say bad because there's so many other words you could say, but... I don't want to cuss, so there's that. But imagine little four and five letter words that end with Y. <laughs> and so, yeah, like I feel like you and this person may have even exchanged some cuss words between each other on some kind of level, maybe in Capricorn season. I'm not sure, but there was something here that was definitely not letting you or them break away from something that constrained and restricted this connection in whatever capacity maybe it was just a friend maybe it was a lover or family member but someone's definitely feeling like they want to come clean about something and let things go to show you that they've healed they've had a change of perspective and that they want to kind of you know get over this tower moment where maybe they got kicked out of something where they thought it was all good and then everything come tumbling down, you know. And so there's vindication here for you. Uh, this person went through some things. So um, this is someone that I feel like they might have definitely had the rug snatched from up under them. They definitely had some kind of divine intervention. I feel like that humbled them and brought them down to earth. Could be an air sign, Aquarius gemini libra but this person did something impulsive and i feel like they're definitely regretting it and there's something about this person really taking a lot of time to you know do some uh, go in a different direction and it's taking them a long time to finally learn some kind of lesson because i feel like they were not dependable and so they're going to be trying to come through to, you know, let you know that you really kind of dodged a bullet by cutting them off whenever you did detach from them. And so maybe there's finally like just some kind of closure that you get. But I feel like this person is hoping to reap some kind of harvest or, you know, give you something 
so that they can show you that they're more solid and secure this go around and that they want to bless you with something and there's something about you know someone walking away from something that no longer emotionally serves them in july maybe they did that to get to you in some kind of way or they got over something that they had no business doing but yeah we have the hangman here pisces energy I feel like it kind of reflects back to like Neptune retrograde because Neptune will go retrograde today at 5.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, June 30th. And it'll like kind of bring some of the delusion down that people have been in so that they can really kind of connect and go within and make balanced approaches because I feel like some people have been deluded and kept in some uncomfortable situations that have had them, you know, caught up. You know, you give someone enough rope, they'll always hang themselves. And I feel like this person might have done that and they feel like they had fumbled you. I do. This was a situation where it just, you, you probably surrendered it and went on with your life. And this person's coming through unexpectedly and they're going to, you know, try to get down to the basics to let you know that they want to kind of work things out. Some kind of mediation here, some kind of um, authority that they're wanting to kind of reconcile and have some kind of higher level of interaction with you where they are want to have some kind of authority or show you that that they're able to provide and give it could be a, an employer could be an ex-lover friend but somebody that's really trying to you know show you that they've gotten rid of the old and it's been a long time coming and they want to offer something more stable and secure because maybe they were non-committal and not able to really give you what you deserve whenever you and this person had you know dealings and so there's definitely something about an ending and some kind of awakening that's occurred where you know someone has taken the blindfold off and it's like you know inevitable ending because it was kind of faded and I feel like there's been some kind of rebirth some kind of ego death that occurs in July that you finally you know are enlightened to and the four swords is coming back out there's been some kind of break some kind of peace some kind of you know stillness that you're gonna have to go within and do some meditation some contemplation or maybe this person is and they you know only came back to thoughts of how they need to make things right with you in some kind of way but there's something about someone praying that, you know, this isn't completely over and that, you know, you won't be defensive and that you're open minded to however they're trying to, you know, come in and show you that they've evolved as a person. Again, um, yeah, we have the strength and the fool. This person is hoping for compassion. They're hoping for forgiveness. They're hoping that you'll take a leap of faith. Because I feel like this person really did some foolish things that were, you know, out of wild urges that they needed to tame in the past. It could be a Leo, could be an Aquarius uh, person, or it could be an Earth sign. But I do have several signs here. We are going to roll the dice here. But I'm going to get some kind of uh, advice here from the Moon Oracle before we roll the Zodiac dice for my Cancers in July. But there definitely seems to be like an old point of some kind that is going to resurface to try to make amends in some kind of way to show you that they're sorry. They're going to make some kind of effort to um, make it right is what it seems. If you're willing to accept it, it's going to be different for everybody. But there's somebody that really is trying to show you that they turned a new leaf. And they went through some things to really, again, uh, bring them back down to earth. And they've had to do a lot of contemplation and meditation to get, I feel like, centered back into the reality that you're in. So we have emotions are running high, super moon. And we're having a super moon in Capricorn on June 3rd. So we definitely see you being tapped into the energy we have a new start is coming, new moon. So there's definitely a new beginning. I see that here with the fool, that you're going to be able to have things go your way, you know, at the end of the day. 
and have faith in your dreams. So I feel like this is an important time for you to pay attention to your dreams. They probably have some important messages and insight, especially with uh, Neptune retrograde and, you know, this super moon and Capricorn will be in opposition to your moon or to you and you're ruled by the moon. So there's definitely something here where you are going to have some intense emotions that are going to be surfacing to be processed. Look at the bigger picture, take the full scope of perspective into consideration here. Um, full moon and Sagittarius. So there's definitely something that you're going to have to see from all sides and remain open-minded. So let's roll these dice and see what's going on here. So, Aries energy coming through, which isn't surprising. We also have Gemini energy here, Cancer. A little bit of Taurus is peeking out. We have that with the Hierophant. Uh, yeah, Taurus energy. So, Aries, Gemini, and Taurus energy coming through for you. I hope you have a great July. I will be giving a few shorter messages throughout the month. And I'll be back for August. So until next time, Cancer, love and plenty of laughs. And always know that you can like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be here for you.